All right, everybody, I'm back for another day with this SP120 solar panel from Blue Eddy. If you saw my last video, um, I didn't have nearly any sort of conditions for solar. Um, right now I have these sitting out in full sun. Well, as much as the full sun as we can. It's up there past the shadow of that tree. I have just one panel hooked up. And we have 88, 89 watts going in. Um, there are clouds elsewhere in the sky. The sun is not behind any of them currently as we speak, but I know that that may cause a difference too. It's not perfectly clear skies, but that is what I am getting out of one SP120 solar panel. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the other one and run them together and see if we can pull the two, the full 200 watt capacity that this thing can pull in. All right, I got both these SP120s hooked up in parallel. As you can see, the sun is still out. No clouds in front of it directly. Let's follow the cords down here, positive and the negatives together. See what we can pull. Thirty two. One thirty two looks like about the max. I'm gonna get right now. Granted, I have those about as perpendicular with the sun as what I can tell with just me setting them up real quick. 140, 143. And even though there's direct sunlight on it currently at this moment, I mean, if you look up, there's clouds there. I mean, they're all over the place, which I know even just that haze right there can make a huge difference on solar. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Uh, if it jumps up too crazy, I'll start recording again, but it looks like 140, 150 out of a possible 240 watts from the SP120s. Um, all in all, I'm pretty impressed just with the conditions that are today, at least it's sunny today, even though it's not perfect, the sun is out, so. I just want to touch base and update with an actual test other than my last one, which wasn't charging it at all because the sun wasn't out at all. So hope this helps. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Have a good day. Have a good night and stay safe.